good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're looking at this today. Everyone, almost, in class today will be ready to kick off on the bumper sticker project for the American Scholar. I call it Great Message. And for whatever negative things you want to say about the American Scholar, and for as hard as that language is to work with, it really does contain some very powerful messages that should be shared. Uh, and of course, that's the whole reason why I had you read it uh, as well. So let's talk about the goal of this project and some examples. So the goal is that you're going to be creating three bumper stickers. When you create these three bumper stickers, two of them will be created on the paper. And as you can see here, the third bumper sticker is going to be full size, uh, and it will be on a sheet that's the size of a bumper sticker. You're going to create three bumper stickers that convey Ralph Waldo Emerson's messages from the American Scholar. Just giving you a heads up, the one that's larger will be displayed and shared with your classmates. What's going to happen is that you're going to start with what the directions say is word for word evidence. And that just means that you're going to start with a quote from the American Scholar. You can use any from any of the three sections we read, the whole class section that we highlighted, the Socrative session that we looked at together, or the individual section uh, that you kind of use to answer your classroom questions. You're going to try to put it in a simplified, catchy, or humorous statement because that's what bumper stickers are all about. And then, of course, this means let's make them look presentable, clear, neat, clean, colorful. Two are going to be created on the paper. But the one that you think is the best, the idea that you come up with that you think has the most quality is the one that's going to be made life size for a bumper sticker anyway. So what will happen is that you'll have to scour and go through the text to try to find quotes that you think send a message that's valuable about life. You can start with quotes that you already know, uh, quotes that came up in our classroom discussions or our classroom assignments, or you could also pick ones that we didn't necessarily focus on. The quote needs to be at least as long as a sentence, but it could also be a larger one if it expands a larger idea. What you have to do before you create your bumper sticker, and maybe that's the hardest part, is that you have to come up here with a paraphrase for what you think that quote means. Whether you need to look something up, whether you need to check with your teacher, uh, whatever you need to do to try to accurately portray that idea from the text over into your own words. So the one I used is from a different part of the American Scholar. The office of the scholar is to cheer, to raise, and to guide men by showing them facts amidst appearances. And when I heard that, it seems like we're talking about the truth versus kind of the surface, what people try to show as well. Uh, it also finishes, he plies the slow, unhonored, and unpaid task of observation. It's almost like if you look at plies, it's like he uses that as a tool, which is the task of observation. So definitely cheer, raise, guide men uh, in using observation. And here's what I turned it into. Uh, for my paraphrase, I thought, well, the core idea, sticking with these facts over here, is that scholars should raise others up and help them by showing them the truth. I see the truth here, the facts amidst appearances. How does he get that truth? He gets the truth by paying attention. Now, when I go to my bumper sticker, I really am looking to boil it down into a simple statement. It could be longer than this, but I like this one because what I see as far as raising other people up is what I think a leader is, and uh, helping them is also a part of leadership. And according to Emerson, you get that leadership, you do the job or the office of the scholar by paying attention. So I change this to be a leader, and then I use my colon to say, well, what does that mean? Tell the truth. For your bumper sticker design, uh, your bumper sticker needed to be bold, easy to read from far away, so we're using big font on that large one. It needs color, and it needs to have a limited paraphrase uh, of wording. So I'm going to want colors, fonts, wordings, and images that are thoughtfully chosen, meaning that they look nice together, they're chosen by design, and that you can see them from a distance like a bumper sticker, make it as big as you can, fill up the white space, and you can always have more if you make a mistake. Now, when it says messages, that's because there's three of them. So there's only really one that needs to be colorful and designed. So the bumper sticker messages uh, are where we get the paraphrasing quality. Uh, making sure that whatever you're talking about for the American scholar is accurate, that you're not just running your mouth about something you don't know, that you're grounding that message in the text. So you're going to make a statement per pertaining to the American scholar and the advice Emerson has for the reader. The better the paraphrase, the higher the score. 
This is just points it's to say that you completed the activity and that you have created three bumper stickers. This is about spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Uh, you can look anything up to spell it. You can ask your teachers, uh, ask a classmate, but you know, always run it by me because maybe some people don't know how to spell. Uh, and I'll be glad to help you with your spelling or your wording to make sure that it doesn't sound crazy. Uh, here's a space for me to write my comments below. Here's a space for you to start pulling your quotes out and putting your bumper sticker uh, wording into your own words. And then that third bumper sticker is going to be stapled to the sheet when you finish. I want you to have a good time. I want you to go and find some quote that you think has a valuable message. Uh, and I'd love to see some great bumper stickers. Uh, so stick true to the words of Emerson and uh, enjoy yourself this next day as you create. Thank you.